Hey guys, this is just um, kind of kind of quick here. Sorry about that. Um, I haven't really talked about this tank a lot, so I thought I would show it because it's a real easy tank. It's real simple. Um, all the pieces came from my other tanks, aside from a couple of plants that I had bought. But um, over here in the corner. I just I just clip these off at the tops and uh, they're um, Ryaneki pinks and these are Bacopa Carolinianas or Carolinas lemon Bacopas not money wart you can see the piece right there piece of or however you need to pronounce it yeah. We got three plants here. They came from uh, one tissue culture at Petco. Local fish store bought this Anubius and they split it into two. And there's another bigger one too. And, uh, well, it's in there. The one wedge here and the one wedge here. Uh, that thing on the end was, was a flower when we bought it, but, um, the flower it's just disintegrating now so I'm gonna have to pluck that off there's a another Nubis as you can see so before I had a piece of driftwood that had some ferns and moss on it this is the same one it's just bridged across here across the other two pieces of wood the piece of wood here the one that looks like a tree trunk was I think a $12 uh, PetSmart. This one was seven or eight bucks local fish store. Uh, Mopani and another one. They're two separate kinds of wood, but they kind of work together. I did not escape this. The wife escaped it. Yeah, that's how simple this is. Um, it's just glued on. All the plants are glued on. And just some plain Java moss in there. And a filter on top, no CO2 or anything. This is the beta right here. This is this is my girl's beta. Um, she calls him Professor Plum, <laughs> I think. That's him. He acts he acts moody and grapey, but I mean he's cool. You can see we got three guppies in here. And before these three guppies, I actually had. Um, Oh, what a, uh, I had the inlers in here and uh, he didn't bother them. He didn't eat the babies or anything now my little white beta and the main big tank Yeah, that one chases and eats babies all day But this dude he's not really a hunter. He's just a He's always chilling. He waits for his food and he eats A few snails in here. This is some more Rynecki pink. This is um when you get it when you get it from a, a pet store, it looks like this. Now see, this is a top that looks pretty nice. So you can you can see how you know it looks decent, happy and healthy at the top, right there. And you can see where they had cut it, or you you take right between two leaves and you just clip right between the two leaves and uh one or two smaller new stocks will grow in that's what i did with those bacopas back there you can see between two leaves snipped it there i mean it's hard to be patient for a lot of people and it was always hard for me to be patient see i snipped these that the two leaves right there, they might grow, but right here, a new sprout will come out. And it'll start a new little plant on top, like that one, you can see, right here. Clipped between two leaves. Now the two leaves are gone on the side, and it's two new stalks. But, when you get those big fat plants from the store, they're all big and giant.